Alright, hey guys, well today I wanted to show you a little bit about the uh, pump that I've taken on my uh, 5R55S 55 transmission. <clears throat> it's basically a 5 speed, uh, 4x4. And uh, to get these uh, bolts out of this thing here, you got to use a, um, oh, this guy, one of these guys here. And it is a uh, T40. And I use a impact wrench. I already went ahead and, and loosened these up a little bit to save some time. Makes it easier when you're using uh, one of these guys here. It uh, really helps out a lot. So I've broken these loose. And I wanted to show you what typically happens in these pumps if you have a transmission. That uh, all of a sudden it doesn't want to move no more. And, and it makes uh, sort of a, a whining noise. The pump usually goes out. But there's another component inside of here. It's called a uh, pump valve that gets stuck. And relieves the pressure. And uh, you lose your... Uh, pressure in the transmission and the clutches won't engage no more so go ahead and take this apart here like I said I've already broke these bolts loose save a little time and get these out of here and they're pretty uh pretty heavy bolts as you can see and uh, I just basically just kind of wiggle it around there and try to get the last one out uh, come on out making me making me uh work a little harder today but there's all my bolts them off this side. Take this off. Alright, there's the one. Okay, well, typically what I should do is flip it over like this now. Makes it a little bit easier. Alright, there's that part of the housing. And uh, I'll clean it up. This side uh, never really gets any wear on. The wear is usually on this side of the plate. And this is where the gear pump gear spins around. And, uh, got a few little scratches on it nothing too bad it's reusable and uh, here are the gears you gotta remember when you put these gears back in there's a dot right there that goes down and there's also a seal inside there make sure that seal doesn't get torn I think you can see it there because that will cause you some problems and here's the big gear and there is a dot right there. I think you can see that. That goes down. And uh, they look pretty good. Now the thing that usually gives everybody a problem when you lose pressure in the transmission is this guy right here. This is called a, uh, oh gosh, there he goes, a pump valve. And what happens, this little thing right here gets stuck. And uh, this one um, is okay. I'll replace it or put another one in it. This one, actually, no, I think this is the one I did uh, put in last night. This, yeah, this is the new one. The old one, let me show you what. Here is an old one. See how that is down in there? It's it's jammed. It won't come out of there. Now, what happens? Your transmission starts getting bad, and you get metal in the line, and you get metal in the oil, and it circulates through the transmission if the filter don't catch it. And fine particles gets down in there and it jams this up. And that valve is stuck open. And this is why your transmission will move. And here's uh, a, a different type of a valve. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that there's a spring in there. And uh, on the back side, the pressure gets built up here and it pushes up on it like that. And that's how this particular one works. This is a good valve. I don't know which one I'll use. I'll probably use stick with one that I bought. The other day, this one here. But there's a good one. And there's a bad one. See the difference? Valve stuck in this one. So when you're changing these pumps, make sure you do research. And you can actually buy a uh, brand new valve. It's an updated one. That uh, oh, let's see. I think it's this yeah, Sonics. This is the one you can buy for these transmission pumps. And it works out pretty good. So basically when you put this together, you just clean out everything and you put everything back together. I normally use the torque converter, which is over there, to uh, set everything back in and kind of uh, line the uh, bolts and stuff up before I tighten the bolts back down. Um, but it makes it a lot easier. They do make a plastic tool that goes over this, but I usually use the uh, torque converter. And if I take my camera and uh, take it off the tripod here real quick, I'll show you where the torque converter is. So I can get the camera off real quick. That's setting right over there. Basically, you can set your pump back down on the torque converter and spin it a few times. 
and get your bolts pretty much lined up and torque it up. That's what a lot of guys do. So uh, that is that. And uh, hopefully this will help you out if you're uh, going to rebuild your transmission. Check your pump. Make sure it's okay. And also you got this little, little brass bushing there. You might want to replace it in the seal. But mine was okay. It didn't leak or anything. And let's see. That bushing looks alright. Looks pretty good. So I may reuse it too. A lot of stuff you can reuse. It's uh, the stuff that gets busted. It has cracks in it. What you can't use. And you know, just check it. Make sure there's no big damage marks on it. This one's got a, just a little bit of scratches on it. But I can't really feel it. So it maybe I'll just maybe take some emery cloth to it and shine it up a little bit. And it should be okay. Uh, your main concern is the plate. As long as you don't have any major wear there, you're okay. And also, no major wear down in there. And you should be good to go. Basically, when you put all this back together, you put your gear back in there like this. And if you can see there, that's, boy, you can put a feeler gauge in there. And you can see that is really almost perfectly across there, smooth. Then when you put your plate on, and then you bolt the other piece on the top. That's what keeps that gear in place and builds up pressure and spins it and all that good stuff. So as long as you're okay there with the clearances on your gear, you should be okay as long as your plate isn't damaged too much. And you're good to go. Also, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention. Check your gasket on this side. See that little, uh, it's kind of like a uh, hard gasket. But it, you can take it off. There's a, a little place. Let's see. Oh gosh. Uh, I think yeah, I think it just slides on. No, right there it is. Yeah, you can, I don't think you can see it, but there's a place right there. Where it'll come apart. See that gap right there? See that? Kind of hard to see, isn't it? But check your gaskets. Make sure they're okay. This is sort of a help to build up pressure before you put it back together. Make sure that's okay. And uh, yeah, well, you won't have any major issues. And there's a small seal right there. Check that, make sure it's okay. And check those two seals back there. Uh huh, that's what it's called a seal. <laughs> it's Saturday, folks. All right, enough rambling on. Hopefully, this guy, video will help you guys out. Good luck rebuilding. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. But there's a lot of videos and research on uh, YouTube that uh, people do. They also may help you out. So uh, good luck, guys, and thanks for watching, and have a good day.